A big setback for the GOP challenge to President Obama's contraception rule. The Senate today blocking the blunt amendment. The amendment would have let insurers and employers opt out of providing birth control coverage if they had more objections. The amendment failed in a largely party line vote, 51 to 48, but it stirred a fiery debate from both sides. Senator Lindsey Graham joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I'm surprised that the amendment, uh, I guess it went along party lines, so no big surprise. Well, we picked up a couple of Democrats. I think maybe lost one Republican. The point is that, you know, you know, we want women to have contraception available. That's not the issue. But religious organizations who do not want to go down the road that President Obama is mandating, every other health care bill we passed, the patient bill of rights, all these other bills we tried to do on the health care front, had a, a conscience exception, religious conscience exception. And the amendment was mirroring what Senator Kennedy proposed in the Patients' Bill of Rights. He wrote the Pope about this very issue under some other legislation. And what Senator Blunt did is basically take Senator Kennedy's uh, language and try to make it an amendment. This all started not from the Obama health care bill, which is a disaster, but from Labor HHS implementing a rule. No, writing the rule. The unelected writing. people writing the rule. Because that's, that's what bothers people, me. Is that's the elected, what people don't understand. The elected people passed yes, the health care bill. Right. It, they went over to HHS there to write go. the rules, and people that we never there even know go. the names of and didn't elect you are writing the rules. You nothing yet. The, the <laughs> Obama health care bill is really going to hurt our economy and make it hard for private sector insurance to survive. I think that's the goal is to get it all in government hands. But the way they'll do it is not through the legislation itself. It's through the rulemaking. Well, Remember the that's NLRB? That's what bothers me, though. That's what, it's, yeah. it's outsourced to people that we have no accountability to. Well, nobody votes. I mean, that's why it's not only important to win the White House, but to replace. Remember the NLRB decision about Boeing in South you Carolina? You mean that one in South Carolina? Yeah, that was an unelected group of people. It wasn't a statute involved that unilaterally decided to bring a, a case against a Boeing for moving to yeah, South you Carolina. Know what, though, my, I don't have any sympathy for you guys because you guys did it. You, know, <laughs> you, you elected officials sent it over to HHS. We didn't. What's that? You mean the, the health care bill? No, 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 no. I voted against the health care bill. The but no, rule, I don't mean against the bill, but I mean the, the fact that it goes over to the unelected well, people. Well, that's well, the that, procedure. That's, well, and we've been trying to change that on the Republican side for years, reining in the ability. A regulation has the same force and effect of law. You agree with that? You're a yep. lawyer. I think every regulation that affects the economy like this should come for our approval, of up or down vote. We've been trying to make that change for years, but the power of the unelected bureaucracy when it comes to Obama health care is going to scare the heck out of you. All right, keep